If you want to be able to publish your workbook to the web, you need to save it as a web page. And you can see I'm getting ready for the month of October, our payroll, kind of spooky. Ooh. But to save it as a web page, come up here and click on the Save As command. Opens up the Save As window. We need to change the type from the default Excel workbook to a web page. Well, you also have single file web page, but the difference between the two is that most web pages viewed in a web browser only contain HTML and reference images and other media files that are stored in other directories on the server. And the single file web page, basically because all files are encoded into a single file with this format, the more commonly used archive web pages. So for viewing pleasure, the front end, let's go ahead and select HTML, select that. And then down below, you can give yourself file name, payroll for October. And then for the web page itself, when somebody opens it up, you can give it a title, click on change title. Dreamforce October payroll, go ahead and click OK and then click Save. And it says some features in your workbook might be lost if it's a web page. Do you want to keep using the format? Of course. And go ahead and close out. There it is. There's the web page and the contents that are pulled over into the web page as well as the XML file and the structure that keeps the formatting that we saw back in our workbook here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the web page, double click. Hey, isn't that nifty? I pulled in the image, kept the formatting, the bold, the structure. Nice. Oh, down below. It restricted the web page from running the ActiveX controls. Do you want to go ahead and allow it? It's going to ask me every time until I go ahead and set the options to allow the ActiveX controls, but I'll do it this one time. There's the DF payroll, and then there's the extra page that came with it. Yeah, I do have an extra page in the workbook. In any case, we'll go back to DF payroll. You can see up here the title bar, Dreamforce October Payroll. Nice. Go ahead and close out. And here's the folder that contains the structure, the XML file, and the image that's being displayed in the web page here that it's linked to. Oh, let me go ahead and change the size larger so you can see the images. There's the style sheet and there's the XML file. Gives it the structure, the formatting, the layout. And so you don't want to mess with this. And for example, moving the images into another place out of this folder because if the web page can't reference it in here, when you open it up, bagel, zero, nothing. So that doesn't work. Go ahead and minimize it down to the taskbar. Let's bring the images back. Oh, better bring the other one because I'm not sure which one it's using. Maybe it was layered. In any case, go ahead and restore it. Click on refresh. Ah, there we go. It's back. Go ahead and close out of here. So that's a good thing to keep in mind is that you want to keep the web page with the contents for the web page that's stored in the folder together. In other words, you don't want to take the folder and put it into another folder. Besides, it won't allow you to do it anyways. Because if I take this folder and put it in here, it takes the web page with it. Because they're buddies. They got to stay together. If not, then as you just saw, when you open up the web page, the structure is going to be off. It won't have the layout or you won't have the images and so forth. Let me go ahead and go back to the workbook here. And then one final note. Let's go backstage file. Info selected by default. Come down here and you can pick what users can see when this workbook is viewed on the web. So you have the browser view options. Click on it. And the default is the entire workbook. You can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and say, okay, I just want the Dreamforce payroll sheet, not the extra blank page. Or if you had a named range, you can click on the drop down arrow and see items in the workbook. We don't have any named ranges, but oh, what the fudge. Let's go ahead and click cancel, go back. Let's go to the Dreamforce payroll and say these people are going to get raises. They're in the named range raises. So if I go ahead and go file down to browser view options and select items in the workbook, it's the raises people and then click okie dokie to set those browser view options. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.